I mean, will he respect the fact that I'm avoiding his uh, territory? I mean, because it feels like it's chasing me, dog. It's only the same. And they're just like, you know, casualties of the crossfire. I don't necessarily want to wreck them, although, you know, spiders, let's be honest here. For me, it just be like, you know, we, we, we must destroy spiders. Yeah, all right, everybody. Welcome to the Indie Showcase with the Birdman. I am said Birdman. This here is Fractals of Destiny. And this is a game that snuck up on me. I had no idea this game even existed. Just suddenly popped up on my Steam, recommended, and I was like, oh, what is this about? Looked into it, just recently released. The reviews for it are very small, but very conflicting. This, by the looks of it, based on what I read, based on what I saw from the trailer screenshots, looks like if somebody were to tell you, hey, give me a double-A title. This is probably what you would get. It actually looks very good. And you'll soon see why, what I mean by that soon. However, it seems to be, based on what I've read, it's plagued by very poor choices in voice acting, unfortunately. Maybe even the dialogue, certain control schemes. Like, it's, if, like, these small little things apparently could be fixed or upgraded or whatever needs to be done, this could be something that you would see up there, like, you know, duking it out maybe with some bigger titles. But as it stands right now, it seems to be like double A jank, but that doesn't necessarily mean you cannot have fun with it. What's that? Run! Ah! Ah! Something is coming! Run! Enforcements will soon arrive. I'm not sure if it's like going slow, like for climatic effect or something, but. Like, I could understand if it was going slow, like when we first started, and there were people were getting blown up. Like, for that climactic effect. Watch out. But, like, at this point, I feel like you should probably speed up, you know? Like, the lasers and everything blowing stuff up. Like, this is where you want it to be, like, boom! Right in your face. Don't give up. There's still hope. Prepare ourselves. We are going to fight them. Let's go. Yes. Huh. I'm not sure if I put my faith in the leader whose uh, facial hair looks like he's going through puberty and ice cream. What are you doing? Just keep it. I will not let you destroy the United Alliance. Mm hmm Yeah, I'm understanding what I read now. I'm understanding. A little too well. Like, it's almost there, you know? It's, it's just almost there, but... Not quite. But let's see. Gameplay, though, that's what really counts. Is it fun gameplay? I need to look around. A hope in chaos, alright. Can I move? 
Will I allow it to be moved? Two hours later. Not really my favorite choice. I'd like to just be able to click down on left, and left, you know, thumbstick as I move to run, but uh, okay. You tell me I can't pick up this shiny? This shiny is right here, like in my face, taunting me. Can't do it. How oh, absolutely dare you. Okay. Well, let's uh, continue onwards here. Our character design is top-notch, so that I can't complain, you know what I'm saying? That I can't complain. I told you, there's a, there's a couple of good things here and there that I noticed. Get Eric materials. What do you mean, Eric? Who's Eric? The beta we can. Okay, my, my friend with the camera. Uh, I need to... Uh, I'm trying to figure out, like, how you lock on. I'm sure if it's just automatic. Like, I'm trying to click right thumbstick, which would make sense, you know... Lock on that way, but it says I can't do that right now, so maybe that's not it. Like, you need the camera to follow the enemy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I need you in front of me at all times, dog. Not out of frame. Alright, let's try out this path then, huh? Aha, uh -huh, here we go. You gonna teach me to lock on now? That'd be great. Nope. Okay, so now we have skills, huh? Right button, and then... Whatever is associated with it. Soul strike. Oh, well, that'll do it. I think I'm a Bob, you know what I'm saying? That right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let's handle the scrub solo here. Again, would it be nice if I could... What did I do? I have no idea. Did this man die or... <laughs> what happened? We went to like slow mo cam and I was like, did I do some sort of special dodge attack combination? It worked out so good, but apparently nothing really happened. Yo, how do you lock on? Like, I see like it does it by itself, like momentarily, right? Are you in combat? Excuse me, can you into combat? <laughs> you, you see, it did it again. Huh. It'd be fine if the, the camera followed the enemy, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, cool, pause it, I like the dramatic effect, maybe after two times or three times I turn it off in the settings and be like, okay, that was cute, but, uh, you know, I don't want to interrupt my gameplay for a single moment. But it'd be fine if the camera just followed the enemies. I mean, they gotta be joshing, right? At some point, they're gonna tell me, like, this is how you lock on. No. No, I don't think I will. Who that? Alice. Brother, please don't die. Don't be sad. Just let me die here. But I want you to stay alive. And normally that's uh, most uh, people would say. You're gonna die? No, don't die. Let me go there. Hang on. Thank you. Ugh. Breaking news. Sister is uh, heartbroken by her brother's passing away. All right, so that way is where we gotta go. And has my progress been impeded? Wait. While in combat, use right stick to toggle between free action and cinematic action. What does that even mean? Okay, hey, can we go into combat? Go into combat, please. Okay, oh! We locked on, boys! Yeah, I know, I know, that was me spamming, because I was trying to see if I could get this, uh, thing finally going. We did it, boys! We finally could lock on! <laughs> wow, it's almost like the game becomes a little bit more playable when the camera isn't fighting you. Why, why, why wouldn't that be the first thing they introduce, locking on? <laughs> why would they make you suffer? I was losing hope with the first fights and going like, yep, okay. Can't see myself uh, tormenting myself this much longer. And now we can lock on. I mean, main character design is, uh, it's all good, you know? I, I got nothing wrong with this. We got a good character design and everything going on over here. It's just the smaller things, like, you know, it, as I mentioned, it feels like Prime double A jank. I have to check every corner of the room. Use right trigger to change the skills casting into Shining Blade or Shining Force. 
By the way, we're up to eight points over here, too, so let me get more strength, I guess. A little bit of vitality. Maximum capacity. Stamina would be nice. Yeah, let me hook me up with the stamina. Oh, God. Why is it so fast? Like, you hold, you barely click, and it's just like, here, 70 points into strength. All right, that's fine. Is it you? Are you the first aid kid? Uh, of course. Why didn't I know that? <laughs> Why did I not know this right here was a first aid kid? Nope. What? What's happening? No! Don't do this! Okay, it stopped. I guess uh, this is a way to teach me to heal. Use your health point. Okay, now we're apparently maxed out. Let's uh, continue on. I, I was worried there for a second. I was like, really? I'm gonna get stuck with this little uh, play glitch audio thing. All right, Alice, I'm here to save your brother. I might have taken all the first aids for myself if I got bladded though. I've got the first aid kit. Thank you, General. This really a help for my brother. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's very dangerous if you stay here. I need time to recover myself. Don't worry, brother. I will always protect you as hard as I can. Okay, then. <laughs> See? <laughs> it's, it's just very, like, stale, you know, like, very sanitized, like, where's the emotion? Okay. Thank you for saving my life. Okay, then. Okay. So, we have uh, a lot of little side things here to do. I'm curious as to my main objective, though. Now with him. Bring combat off. Don't combat off. There's, a, there's still dudes. You can't just tell me combat off when there's a dude running at me. Tiger dance. Uh, heavy. Light heavy. Gotcha. You know, this game would also benefit from not having this combat on, combat off mode. Like, it should just let you swing whenever you want to. Like, basically, if right now I'm not fighting and I swing it goes into like this quasi combat mode right but for some reason during combat it like um during actual combat it just seems to like shift around like it'll just say like combat off for whatever reason and you'll stop being in that fighting stance I, I don't i don't understand like just what's the point just keep me in like let me attack whenever i want mode so i don't like suddenly like, drop like my whatever i'm doing you know what the hell is this hp's max oh it would just heal me on the fly huh it's just very, very weird. Like, some of the decisions is what I meant. Like, it feels like, uh, again, double A. Like, there's a lot of good, but some of the decisions you're going like, why? It looks like the forest creature's angry because of this incident. But I have to keep moving. The forest creature. I you mean the spider? You want to avoid the spider? I mean, will he respect the fact that I'm avoiding his uh, territory? Or their territory? I mean, cause it feels like it's chasing me, dog. It's only to say. If they're just like, you know, casualties of the crossfire, I don't necessarily want to wreck them. Although, you know, spiders, let's be honest here. For me, it just be like, you know, we, we, we must destroy spiders. Okay. Got him. You see, no, don't combat off. There's a dude literally right there. There's no need to come. You see, you see what I'm saying? Like, why? Why must we do this? By the way, I think I'm not sure if I have a red skill. Or do I? Yes, I have thousand stars. Oh, he's still alive. Ooh. It slows down time so you can go into like some crazy little combo, huh? <laughs> Save the hostages. Gotcha. Hey, um, can you go into combat mode? Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay, what's happening? Okay, you're doing that weird thing again. Ow, cool. Appreciate it. Dodge, dodge. Can we zoom back in? Not really what I want to do, but okay. I didn't want to try this out anyway, so. Too much cinematic camera. Like, I get it. It looks cool. But at the same time, when you just want to play the game, it just kind of breaks your flow of combat. And it's kind of like, oh, yeah, I gotta wait for this to play out.
Let's just say, good. Okay, camera, please. What's happening now? <laughs> can can? Okay, cool. All right, cool. What? Please, can you relax? No. Uh, my gamepad camera has broken. <laughs> this is the slightest touch. The slightest touch. <sighs> okay, maybe after this fight, can we lock on to the guy? No, my, my camera literally is broken with the gamepad now. Like, one... I literally gotta gently tap it. I mean, okay. You know what? I gotta go to game... <laughs> gotta go to keyboard or mouse. Thankfully, it's right here. Maybe, maybe I've been playing it wrong. You know, maybe the game didn't want me to play a keyboard and mouse. I have saved you, I think. Bad controller, stay away. You guys need to leave. This is a perfect camera angle, do battle. This place is too dangerous. Don't forget to evacuate the residents who need it. C copy, ma'am. It's my job. Just chill. <laughs> All right. I know you almost died, but relax. Just chill. Yeah, it's it's just broken. I. <laughs> I just realized I can't do anything else. Like, that's the reason why my items over there are also like all crossed out. I... Alright, I'm, I'm gonna hit this from a continue spot. I, I exited, I came back in, maybe this fixes whatever broke with the gamepad. Okay, oh my god, I'm all the way back over here. Alright, dog, I'm sorry to say. I'm sorry to say we gotta, we gotta, we gotta go. <laughs> we just gotta go. Maybe playing this game with a gamepad from the start was a bad idea. Maybe I handicapped my experience. I don't know. It just feels like this type of game just lends itself better to gamepad. But it was kind of like added late. This game was primarily supposed to be keyboard and mouse. So maybe that's on me. Maybe that part you could put on me. But there's other weird things about it that, you know, there's a lot of promise. But at the same time, there's like a lot of like things that make you scratch your head. Like, you know, not being able to lock on from the start. What's that about? Check this out too. This is how long it takes to get into your menu. Starting now. Now you're able to do stuff in your menu. Like, it's weird. Like, there's a lot of weird things that they did that I'm kind of like going like, why? If you remove these things, it'd probably be a better experience. It's not a bad title. There's a lot of promise here, to be honest with you, but there's a lot of jank to it as well. So, you know, it is what it is. If you're looking for something like this, though, not a bad one. I mean, the game looks pretty good. Not great, but good. I mean, amazing character design for a fact. I ain't gonna lie about that one. But it is what it is. If you do check it out for yourselves, uh, you know, forget gamepad. You saw my terrible experience with that. Go keyboard and mouse. It'll probably do you a lot better. And if you do check it out, let me know. Maybe let me know. Come back and be like, Falcon, you were wrong. Um, actually, Falcon, you were wrong. Had you played the game with keyboard and mouse from the start, you would have had a good time. And you know what? It's possible. There you guys have it. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll catch you next time.